Hi guys, I'm Dr. Hans and this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. I'm a Swedish home brewer trying to put out some good content for you here on YouTube. Here on my channel you can expect beer reviews like this one. Today we're trying a Pilsner from a Swedish home brewer. His brewery is called Smisken Brewery. That would translate into Spanking Brewery. Besides tasting videos, I do gear reviews, grain to glass videos, experimental video, DIYs, event videos, and more. So, if that sounds interesting to you, consider becoming a subscriber and do hit that little bell so you get notifications when I post out a video like this one. This beer was kindly sent to me from Smiskin. I tried a few beers from him before and they all been good. So, we have a Pilsner style beer this time and uh, also had the recipe and I glanced at the recipe I usually don't do that but I did and it's like a weird hop schedule so we're gonna go through that as well but first let's get this beer into a glass Okay, so the Smiskan Pils. Want to have a look at the label? So the Smiskan Pils from Smiskan Brewery comes in at 4.6 ABV. And we're trying it in a Spiegelau Pilsen glass, which I bought for the occasion. I'll try and put a link down below for the glass. And of course, for the opener, my favorite opener, uh, I try to put links for like everything I use for serving and of course brewing and also for filming because yeah I know you guys are here for the beer and brewing part of it but I'm also into this because I like the video part of things so uh, yeah bear with me as I play with different gear and yeah stupid ideas just like I do with my brewing stuff so let's crank this one open okay so we have some gun smoke there nice level of carbonation I can see from here but uh, yeah didn't gush anything like that but it did foam up here so we'll see how it will handle this glass I think this might be bottle condition so we're gonna Pour it gently. Maybe I should also show myself on camera. Oh, it's a nice looking beer. So I could start pour it a little bit more aggressively. Let's try to read the pour so we don't get any stuff in. Okay, so I'm gonna end it there for anything goes in it so as I said it was very well carved it's a very light colored beer not as dark as you see it there on camera it's always hard to replicate the color but so I will monitor the screen while I shine through it it's a little bit lighter than that even so I have a very very light colored beer it's crystal clear. It has been sitting for a while in the, the fridge. So we have a two finger, quite loose head. And uh, yeah, the carbonation is just storming up there. Okay, so let's give this one a nose. And as I said, I also have the recipe and the recipe also goes up on my Patreon page in the Dr. Hans recipe book in the beer mail section. I've wear it well over like 100 recipes now and it's, it's growing. Most of my own recipes, of course, but also a lot of beer mail recipes. If anyone else wants to send me beer mail, you'll find my contact information down below in the description box. Okay, so let's give this one a nose. You do get that like lager, Pilsner character on the nose. It's 
is not very pungent beer. I think the aroma is most from the, the, the yeast. Get that lagerish aroma. Okay, so cheers guys, let's dive in. It's a little bit overcarbed, if I'm gonna complain on anything. Otherwise, it's a, it's a crisp lager. I do get that Pilsner. Like spicy hop, like sass. Maybe not sass, maybe not like tetnangy. We're gonna have a look at the recipe. So this is a really like refreshing beer and Nothing is really screaming out about it, but it's very, very well brewed beer because even though it's maybe we could consider it a little bit boring in the summertime when it's really, really hot, this is an excellent beer. Small hint of apple, but very, very small, so it's okay no flaws in this beer at all and there's no way to like hide flaws in a beer like this one when you um, have like no hop aroma at all yeah i do get some of course but more on the taste than the the nose i don't think it's a beer i would brew because yeah it is a little bit boring but uh, <laughs> If you were aiming for like a really crisp, clean Pilsner, yeah, this is this, this is the one. Really good made beer. Being a, a beer connoisseur, if you so want, I would of course want it. Maybe some multi tones in there, but then again, it wouldn't have been the same beer. So for what it is, it's. It's marvelous, fantastic. Okay, so let's go through the recipe. As you see, it's not that I don't like it because it went down really fast. Really nice beer there. The recipe. He used four kilos of Pilsner and 500 grams of wheat malt. And uh, this is for a 23 liter batch, like five gallon batch. And uh, yeah, maybe you should just use Pilsner if you want to be uh, to style, but of course some wheat doesn't hurt it. Could help with head retention and uh, could even bring some extra complexity to it. You can also throw in some Munich mold, something like that, but then again it wouldn't be as light and it wouldn't be Maybe it just wouldn't be a pilsner anymore. And this was the weird part with the, uh, the hops. He used 10 grams of tetanang at 80 minutes. So I guess this was like a 80 minute boil or 90 minutes, something like that. And then he used 20 grams at 70 minutes. So it's a little bit weird. Why didn't he add all the hops at 80 minutes instead? I don't know. Maybe, Smith can brew it, comment down below. How come you made this weird hop schedule? And uh, the yeast for this was Saflager S23. And original gravity 1053, final gravity 1009. I don't know if that's correct or that's like calculated. 4.6%. Should we? Try to add the yeast at the end, see what happens. Why not? So now we got a five finger head and a hazy beer. I'm not afraid of little yeast. It's not bad. It's not the same beer, of course. I ruined it, sorry. It rounds the beer up a little bit. 
don't be afraid of the yeast. The yeast is good for you. Some more yeast in there also. So guys, if you're new to this channel, consider becoming a subscriber by hitting that subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell, you get notifications when I post a new video like this one. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a double thumbs down. So cheers guys, and thanks for watching. Dr. Hans out.